The question from Nathan Trainer. Hello, Master Boich. First and foremost, I would like to express my deep gratitude for all your support and dedication in helping aspiring mangaka like myself. Thank you very much, Nathan Trainer. So kind. Your contributions to the manga community are truly inspiring and invaluable. Oh man. What can I say? Of course, I want to share with you. For all aspiring manga artists around the world, that is what I desire. My question is, how do you create an arc and a saga for a manga? I understand that this is a complex task. Thank you very much in advance. <laughs> All right, how to create an arc and a saga for manga. Okay, let's take a moment to consider the role of making the story for the manga. I'm sure you've all heard this at least once before. They say the most important aspect of manga is the story. But what this statement truly means is that for a manga to achieve commercial success, the story plays the most critical role. In other words, the success of a manga is the primary criterion. Success is the key factor here. However, if success is not the primary goal, the significance of various elements in a work can vary greatly depending on the creator's intentions. For instance, you might create a piece to test the capabilities of a ballpoint pen or to showcase its limitations. In such a case, the most crucial aspect of the artwork would be the capabilities and restrictions of the ballpoint pen. When observing that piece, the focus wouldn't be solely on the story but also on the ballpoint pen's performance and limitations. When success is the criterion, the story becomes the paramount factor. Everyone desires success. As an artist and creator, it's gratifying when the work succeeds. That's why the story holds such importance in manga. It's the most critical aspect. Now, when it comes to studying manga, one might think that the story is the most crucial element. Since the story is so vital in manga, it should also be the primary focus of studying, right? But my answer is no. Yes, I know it might sound surprising to you. There are three main reasons for this. And I will tell you one by one. Firstly, if aspiring manga artists dedicate most of their effort and time to developing stories and storytelling, they are more likely to excel as story writers rather than as manga artists. Can someone who spends the majority of their day planning and studying stories and creative universe devoting only an hour to drawing practice become a skilled artist capable of producing great artwork and editing panels and layout no they can't the second reason is much more significant you might say like i should study the story well in a systematic way i should study it but then what should you study what exactly constitutes a story in manga the story for movies and ARC for TV series. There are various methods to study and learn about writing screenplays. There are many books to read and major in film school, and you can study them. However, for manga, they don't exist. In film screenplay techniques, there are standard methods that everyone can learn and follow. In movies, yes. But it is not for manga. Let's take a look. The world of manga is a vast universe. Grand Shin Chan, Dragon Ball, and Vinland Saga. Can we apply a common storytelling structure and method to these three works, which have different art styles, story structure, panel editing, and layout? Well, there might be something that connects them, and I just haven't discovered it yet. But I don't think it exists. Anyway, currently, that's my perspective. Well, you can say. In these three works, having compelling characters in common is crucial. But that's not a method. Saying that cool characters are essential may sound like a method, but it's not. It's more like a tip. Something useful and helpful things, you know? Here's the third reason. 
When it comes to the third reason, you don't need to study these tips in advance. You don't have to study these tips at all. Because once you work hard and have the opportunity to meet editors at the manga magazine's editing department, they will provide you with the tips you need to know. The editors you'll be working with at manga magazines have accumulated data, history, and know-how from 50 to 70 years of experience in creating successful titles, data that you could never access before. Definitely, editors play a crucial role by offering valuable guidance and insights that can help you understand these important materials. Through numerous analyzes and research based on this vast amount of data, they will have a tremendous amount of excellent tips prepared specifically for young talents. After all, they are outstanding professionals and veterans in the manga industry. The excellent editors of remarkable magazines. So, you can learn from the editors when the time comes. Studying manga and storytelling while looking at film screenplay methods. It might actually be a hindrance. Though you might think that film screenplay methods would be helpful. But in reality, they don't offer much significant help to create manga stories. It might be surprising, but that's the result of my experience and observation. Yes. In fact, when I started studying film screenplays in film school in Korea, the first important principle I learned was that a piece of work should have continuity. I took this teaching to my heart and put in a lot of effort. However, when you look closely at many successful works in the manga, you'll notice that they don't strictly adhere to continuity. Still, those works are exceptional. Because they are manga, not movies. Of course, I believe that it's good and fun to have continuity in stories. But in reality, many works become interesting by not strictly following the rules. Yeah. I don't want to admit it too. Because that is what I learned and I want to adhere to it. A piece of work should have continuity. But it's not an absolute necessity. That's how it is. So you don't have to study it diligently. However, personally, I do consider continuity somewhat important when I create the story for my works. Lately, I've been trying to overlook it a bit though. So, anyway, when it comes to creating works, especially successful ones. For example, if characters are important, it's good to do it this way. For those character things, you can study them diligently and learn from the editors when you meet them in the future you can make their know-how and data your own. The basic principles of creating stories for drama and movies don't always apply well to manga. And there aren't many manga-specific drama methods that are very helpful without the tips. It's not easy to create a general creative drama method that applies to all works, which ultimately leads you to the conclusion that there is nothing to study in manga storytelling. Regarding Nathan Trainer's question about whether you can create a story, Arc and Saga and Manga, don't think it's difficult. Just try creating it. Since you won't have much to learn, and editors will help you later. For now, just give it a try. Don't hesitate. Just start creating something. Imagine and visualize your idea. Your first idea? Your first manga item? How should we create it? If you're unsure about it, get ideas from works you love. How to create the universe of my manga? I have no idea. If it feels too difficult for you and you don't know where to start. If that's the case, draw inspiration from the creative universes you love. After all, you're not creating your own work solely based on the creative concepts of those works, right? You're not going to sell or submit it. You're doing it for studying purposes or to share it only with your friends. So, what are you waiting for? When you're studying, feel free to take inspiration and ideas from other works. If you don't fully understand creating an arc and a saga, you can take the universe and storytelling elements from the works you love to study them. If directly copying from a specific work feels like plagiarism and doesn't sit well with your conscience, if you don't want to do that, then draw inspiration from various genres, characters, clicky, and stereotypes, 
because those are resources available to everyone. Take the standard elements and patterns from SF, fantasy, and action, and learn from them to freely create your stories. If you are not sure how to create characters, take inspiration from the characters you love in other works. How to make the structure of the story and separated the parts? Again, draw inspiration from the works you love. Not only take everything from a single work. Gather things you love from various works. Take the universe from Dragon Ball. Characters from Vinland Saga. And the story and saga from Sailor Moon. Then mix and create in your study work. Guys, remember that this is all part of your learning process. Your practice. It's about studying. Understanding and learning from the manga you love in order to create your own. You're not showcasing it to anyone other than your friends. So it's okay. This is for your growth, and the important thing is to start something right away. Just like you cannot submit a sketchbook for a competition. This is just one of your study directions. First, start with this. But, make sure to diligently create the story. Draw as many thumbnails as you can, and keep doing that. Once you've produced over 2,000 pages of thumbnails and manuscripts, you'll be ready to submit your own work. At that point, you'll be able to freely develop the creative universe and characters of your manga and write engaging and thrilling story structures. So, don't worry. And then, when you are ready, your editor will treat you to a delicious lunch or dinner and share many great tips with you. They will provide you with the data accumulated by the magazines where you will be active and their invaluable expertise. So, don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. And since there's not much to study, just brainstorm and imagine a lot. If you're unsure, just draw inspiration from the works you love. It's that simple. However, as an author, it's also good to continue reading and contemplating to deepen your understanding. Contemplate life, humanity, nature, and the world and the time we live. Ponder them extensively. These reflections will accumulate and enrich you as an author. Ultimately, authors are judged by their depth. I think that's how it works. To become a skilled author, as you work on building your depth, if you find it challenging to come up with stories, it's okay to study and practice a lot by drawing inspiration from the works you love. And if you're curious about film script writing techniques, it's fine to get some tutorial books about script writing and read them.